I've got a fragrance in front of me right now, which I think it's gonna be a problem in the fragrance community because this thing, just stay tuned people, just stay tuned. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Clone and if you're tuned in, thank you for doing so people. Right, I've got to talk to you about this. I got this in the other week. I've worn it a couple of times. I didn't do a first impressions. Reason being is because I actually couldn't wait to open it. So I literally just opened it and I've worn it a couple of times and I just want to talk to you about it a little bit today. It's coming from the house of Mise en Cire and it's Celebis Wood. The owner, the director of this brand is Alberto Marias. I'm not gonna go through the fragrance that he's done because it would take ages. Just Google his name and you will see a list of the hits that this bloke has done. And once you see some of the fragrances that's in his portfolio, you will know, or you will definitely know some of them fragrances. He is just so known in the fragrance community as one of the best noses in the business. This fragrance is the first I have from his own line and it's a problem. It really is a problem in a good way. This thing smells fantastic. I'm going to read you the notes, show you the presentation, and I'm just going to talk to you about what I got and what I get from this fragrance. So, there is the box. There is just some additional information on the back, and it slides out like so, look. There you go, and then there is the box. And then, obviously, the bottle sits inside. You get a little leaflet that sort of tells you a little bit about the brand and when they started, so there. And then you have the fragrance inside, like so. Look at that elegant, simplistic, smart looking bottle. Just look at that. And you've got their M for the mise en cire. It's just clear all the way round. I believe you have your batch code on the bottom. This fragrance, people, right. Let me tell you the notes quickly. You've got bergamot, cardamom, geranium in the top. Then you've got cinnamon, labdanum, white pepper, tonka bean, styrax, clearwood, vanilla absolute from Madagascar in the base. Right. When this opens up, let me show the atomizer. When this opens up, you get hit from that bergamot, but that bergamot only stays around, especially on my skin, just for a couple of minutes. But it opens warm, a little bit boozy, it opens spicy, it opens sweet, but you've got that tad of freshness from that bergamot right in the top. But like I say, that soon dissipates. The way the cinnamon is mixed with the labdanum it just, you've got a little bit of spice in there. The way the notes are blended, it does open up, to my nose, a little bit boozy. Even though there's no alcoholic notes in there, the way it's just, the, the format of it, it just comes across a tad boozy, a little bit dark, a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, like you've got the white pepper in there. This thing is a fantastic fantastic fragrance it really really is so you've got all that going on in the top and it stays that way for a couple of hours once it really starts dying down on my skin that tonka bean and it's got clear wood in it that that just and the vanilla really starts to show its face a little bit more so as it's dying down it goes a little bit warmer it goes a little bit sweeter and then that vanilla and tonka bean and clearwood really starts to show its face. 
And obviously by then, the bergamot, like I say, that only sticks around, especially on my skin, five minutes and then that is gone. That is just there in the initial blast. I think just, like I say, adding a bit of freshness to the darkness and the richness of this fragrance. This has depth. It's, it's just a problem. If you sample this or smell this, you will see what I'm talking about. It is fantastic. I love the way this smells. To me, this is sexy, mysterious, a little bit dark. You are going to smell fantastic if you wear this on a date night. If you rock this on a date night, the lady or the man, because I think, right, we'll get to that in a sec, they're going to think that you smell fantastic. They're going to want it to eat you. I'm telling you, it smells that good. To me, this leans a little bit on the masculine side, but I do believe that women can pull this off as well. If you like your dark, rich, little bit spicy fragrances, then you will like this fragrance. This is definitely a winter fragrance. Right, I've only rocked it a couple of times and I'm getting nine to 10 hours of longevity. The first two hours, moderate projection, I'd say a good arm's length, then it dulls down a little bit, but it's still radiating the four to five hour mark. And then it calms right down. And then like I say, it's a skin scent, nine hours, 10 hours, you're still gonna smell it on you the next day. I can't talk highly enough of this fragrance. It smells so goddamn good. And they have loads in the mise-en-seer line, they have loads of fragrances. So if any of them to go by, I mean, there's got to be some bangers in there because this is a banger. People, let me know if you've tried this fragrance. Let me know if you've tried any from their house. I've heard such good things about it. And like I say, Alberto Marias, the bloke, he's just, he's done wonders in the fragrance community. He really, really has. Right, people, remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. I will definitely see you on the next one. Cheers.